various states come, come there. So that is a very, really very good experience. We have debates, we have uh, moot court competitions, a lot, of, a lot of competitions, various kinds of competitions. This is a very good thing, but I'm a bit disappointed to stay one and a half year at home because there we have uh, in-person competitions. Even now we have competitions, but it was different when we are in uh, the university. Yes, it is a very good good experience in studying in an NLU. Yes. You you'll feel it. It is it is different from any other university. You'll have a different experience studying in an NLU. Ma'am, you are a fourth year student, right? Yeah, pardon? Ma'am, you are a fourth year fourth year student. Yeah, I'm a fourth year student. I have two more years. Ma'am, if, if you don't mind, can I ask why are you teaching us? Why? So I, ha I, why in the sense I want to share my knowledge because I have learned a lot of things. It was a in-depth preparation which I did. I want to share my knowledge how far I can help people in cracking those clad because you are all like my friends and you will be my juniors obviously. So. I want to help people, uh, help students. What is the exact strategy you have to follow to crack it? So, yeah. Yes. Okay. Any more doubts or anything you want to share? You want to um, ask? How will the counseling process go, man? In NLU? When, after writing an exam, how will counseling process? Yeah, you will have semesters. So you will have, uh, in, in a year, in every year, you will have two semesters. So in our NLU, uh, we will have six subjects in every semester. So you will no, have... No ma'am, how to enter, how to, after writing CAD exam, Okay. the counselling will be no ma'am, counselling. Yeah, yeah. To get admission. Yes. About that time. Yeah. So what will happen is, is uh, after getting your CLAD result, what you'll have, you'll have a lot, uh, you'll have a list of colleges like you are qualified to DSNLU. For me, what happened? In the first, I, I gave my preference to DSNLU only because it is in my home state. I want to study there itself. So my preference was uh, DSNLU. So first, after getting my result, I got into DSNLU. But some people who got more rank, that is like 10,000 rank, uh, like not 10,000, like 6,000 rand. So they have to wait for the second counseling. In second counseling, you will be waiting for second counseling. So, and third counseling, second counseling, third counseling, then you will be getting, you, you may have chance to get into the desired university. It depends, completely depends on your score, your rank, and the options. Which you opted the what is the first NLU you opted, what is the second NLU. You have to be careful when applying to CLAT. Friends, after getting rank, we should apply now. But no, 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 no. While you're giving the application, while you're filling the application, they'll be asking you what are your preferences. I guess it is three preferences. So you have to give what is your first preference, second preference, third preference. It depends on you. They will see the rank if you will be eligible for first preference or not. If not, they will go for second. If not, third. If these pre three preferences are not there, not three preferences, I think it is around 9 or 11. I don't know. So it goes. First preference, your, your rank is not suitable. So they will go for second one or third one. Fourth. Did you get it? How they see the preferences? Yes ma'am. Means you mean before getting the results only we should prefer college. Yeah, while, while applying to CLAT, while you have to apply for the CLAT, like pay, you'll pay fee right to apply for CLAT. In that application only you have to give preferences. Okay? Okay. Any more doubts? Can we proceed to our session? What was your rank, ma'am? My rank? My rank was uh, 3,800. What was your rank? 
Mincho, uh, you're from... You're from Telangana state or Andhra? No, no I'm from Andhra. Okay. You mean domicile reservation do you have? Man? Yeah, I have Andhra domicile reservation but I don't think it was in use. We have women reservation as well as domicile reservation in Andhra. Any more doubts? Can we proceed? Yes or no? Please tell me. We'll proceed then? Yes. Okay, we'll proceed to the session. So today our topic is the... Yeah. Can you see the screen, everyone? Yes. Yes, right? Yeah. Yeah. Today our topic is statements and assumptions. So, uh, I'll tell you a brief, why are we studying this topic? Why actually this is there in our syllabus? Why is it there in, it is there in numerous competitive examples. What is the main theme, main what is the reason for giving such a topic in reasoning? So, statement and assumptions in our daily life, what we have? In our daily life conversations, we have statements. What we talk is for statement. I already told you yesterday, assumption is something that you are not stating it directly. Do you remember that yesterday I told you about, about assumptions? You don't state it directly. Yes? Do you remember what I told about the assumptions yesterday? One is. I'm waiting for one is. Or shall I tell you again? Do you want me to tell again? Okay, I'm telling you again. Assumption, assumption is, I told you yesterday, right? When there is an argument, when there is an argument, yesterday I told you about argument is equal to a conclusion plus premise. Okay. Which is not told is called an assumption. Assumption is something that we have to draw from the statements which are spoken directly. Okay. From sta given statements, we have to draw something, we have to think and we have to assume. That is called assumptions. Why is it why is it given in the competitive exams? Because it should be what we assume should be a very reasonable one. We should not if we should have we should use the com our common sense there, okay? By by giving any assumptions, we have to use our common sense and then give. So to test our common sense, this section is included in competitive exams. So let us move for this. What is an assumption? An assumption is something that is supposed or implied meaning is given. Like they give us a statement. They speak only some part of They speak only some part. They don't give us everything. They give us a statement and what we assume, what we draw some conclusion, what we assume is called assumption. There may be in a question, in a question there may be more than one assumption. Like they will give us uh, two assumptions in some cases, they will give us three. Okay. We, don't, we need to pick up the most appropriate assumption from the given two assumptions or three assumptions. And implicit assumptions are for, uh, see, in general English, there are two words, implicit and explicit. Implicit is something which we think, which we think. Explicit is something which is given directly. I, if you remember yesterday, in a sentence, in a paragraph, we got this word explicit, which is explicitly stated. Explic explicit is something which is given directly. Implicit is something which we, we think and we get it. So, but that is an English language. In logical reasoning, implicit means true state, true, true assumptions or anything. 
do two things. Implicit means true things. Explicit means false. Okay? You have to remember this through the entire session. Implicit statements are one which are true according to the given statement. Impl implicit assumptions are the one which are true according to the given statement. Okay? It, in English it goes different, here it goes different. Implicit is the one which is true, explicit is the one which is false. Okay? How do we approach such kind of questions? How do we approach a statement, assumption based questions? Firstly, stick to the facts. As I already told you, stick to the facts. Whatever is given in the question, that you have to assume that it is true. It is true. You don't put your uh, uh, your own knowledge there. You have to assume if the sun rises in the west, yes, it is rising in the west. I will accept it for, for the time being. Okay. Next. Read this statement with the approach that the assumption will be true with respect to the statement. It should be true. If it is false, then it is not implicit. We will strike it out. Okay. And then use elimination method. Okay. Next, use your logic, your common sense, and general awareness. General awareness doesn't mean that you have to bring your own uh, knowledge and keep it there. It is like a somewhat general approach. It is just a just the approach, but not your knowledge. Okay. You should use your logic and common sense. Any doubts till now? Did you get how to approach? Any doubts or you didn't understand anything? Yeah? Any doubts or you didn't get no, any no. point? Yeah, someone spoke. No, I'm not clear. Okay. Now, I'll give you the rules. How to solve the question. See, I, sh I just show you how the question is so that I'm not uh, saying some dumb thing. See, this is what assumption based questions are. Okay? These are, the questions are this way and you have to choose any one of these options. If only assumption 1 is implicit, 2 is implicit, neither 1 nor 2, both 1 and 2. Okay? Yeah. Now let us come to the rules. If you have a notebook with you, these are very important rules. You have to note them down. You have to note them down. Can you see the screen properly or any problem? I will tell you what are this first. There are some words, there are some words like only, each, every, all and there are some words, answers indicating therefore, definitely, but, certainly. These, where there is such word in assumption, you can blindly put it it is an explicit statement. It, it is not correct. That assumption is not implicit. Okay? Wherever there are words like only, each, any, all, questioning words like why, these, what, you can just, you can just uh, once see the, see the statement what it is saying. Most of the times, most of the times, that assumption is wrong. Most of the times. Okay? You have to remember these words. Okay? Whenever you see uh, this word, once again read the sentence. Mostly that will be your answer. Next. And some words like large extent, some, uh, uh, many, which is opposite to these words. Okay? Here it is specifying. In the first point, they are specifying only this, every, any. In the second point, what is happening? It is generalizing like some to a large extent many much these these words when these words come most of the time that assumption will implicit that will be true okay next assumption is always indefinite and positive we have to assume that if the assumption should be positive when there is a negative assumption apart from when there is a negative assumption from the statement given, then we can blindly put that, strike it off. That assumption will not follow. 
Okay, any assumption that is conveying the message of advertisement or notice or appeal, that assumption mostly will be true, true assumption. Okay, next. Any assumption that is talking about the social welfare, social welfare or government policies or subsidies, whatever the government is giving, mostly that assumption will be true. And if any assumption is talking about past, past, from the statement given, it is talking about past or future, okay, that assumption will be false, okay. If any assumption is showing the word, like suggestion, order, request, that most of the times that will be true. Comparison, comparison will be false. Okay, you have to remember these rules. These are the deadly rules you have to remember. If you remember these rules, it will be very easy for you to solve the questions. Okay, any doubts till now? Any doubts? Yes? Okay. Can I move further? Yeah. So, uh, most of the times in options you will have... Okay. Most of the times you will have... In options you will have uh, assumption... Only assumption 1 is implicit, 2 is implicit, neither 1 nor 2. Both of the assumptions implicit. It is very rare in some conditions you will get either one or two. Most of the times that will not be your answer. Okay, that also you can keep in mind. Either one or two, most of the time will not be your answer. Okay, neither one nor two in the sense, neither one is correct nor two is correct. Both the assumptions are wrong. Nothing is falling. Okay, now we will see the questions. Now you are going to, I am going to solve just two to three questions and it is on your part to solve the rest of the questions. Okay, so be very careful. If there is any doubt till now, you can please ask me. Yes, any doubt? You can please ask me. Okay, we will deal with one question and later you will be solving the rest of the questions. So let us see this question. The district authority has decided to set up wireless, wireless communication along the coastline in the view of cyclonic storm hitting the coast. This is the statement. First we have to keep in our mind the statement is correct. Whatever the statement is saying that is correct, we have to follow it very religiously. What the assumption is saying, let us see if they are correct or not. Assumption 1 is saying the telephone communication may be paralyzed due to the cyclonic storm. Okay. And second assumption is saying the wireless communication system may be able to withstand the fury of cyclonic storm. Here, I accept both the assumptions are correct. Why? Why do I accept? Here, what is happening? In the first assumption, the telephone communication may be paralyzed due to cyclonic storm. It is obvious why due to this, here they are mentioning the cyclonic storm. Here they are mentioning the cyclonic storm as the reason to put the wireless communication. Okay. Here what they are saying, they decided to set up wireless communication along the coastline in view of the cyclonic storm. In view of the cyclonic storm. In the sense what? Because of the cyclonic storm, it is necessary to put the wireless connections. So, the telephone communication may be paralyzed. Can you, can you get that? Because the telephone communication system is getting paralyzed, paralyzed there is a necessity to put, to put a wireless communication system. Could you tell, there is a doubt, okay, actually now could you tell uh, again under which conditions an assumption would be implicit or explicit? Yeah. Last year I am telling you, this one, one minute. 
last year. Uh, implicit statements in the sense, implicit statements are the one which are true. Remember just these two. Implicit are true, true assumptions according to the statement. Explicit statements are false according to the statement. This is the main point with respect to implicit and explicit. Implicit are true assumptions with respect to the statement given. Explicit are false assumptions with respect to the statement given. Last year, any doubt? You can switch on your uh, mic. Yes, last year? Okay. Can I move oh. further? Can I move further? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you. Okay? Here, the telephone communication may be paralyzed. That is the reason he is saying that there is a necessity for a wireless communication. Do you all accept that the assumption one is true? Any doubts with that? Do you all accept that assumption one is true according to the given statement? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now coming to the assumption two. The wireless communication system may be able to wireless communication system may be able to withstand the fury of cyclonic storm. That is the reason. That is the only reason, right? That is the reason they are they are in a view to put the wireless communication while the uh, cyclonic storm is hitting. Okay. But he didn't mention that it will be paralyzed. No, just not, uh, just uh, we have to use some, um, we'll use some common sense. Just saying, he's saying that the district authority has decided to put, set up a wireless communication system. Why is he putting a wireless communication system? Why, what is the need? What did he mention? What is the need? Because in a view of the cyclonic storm, because cyclonic storm is coming, hitting the coast, there is a necessity for wireless connection. If there is, see, if, if it is not, uh, telephone communication is not getting paralyzed, what is the need? What is the need of uh, building a new wireless communication system? What is the need? Yeah, it is a basic, uh, I told you, right, it is a common sense. Like, what is the need? Why should we be... Uh, build, why should he spend his money and uh, bring some wireless communication system? He already mentioned in the view of cyclonic storm. Okay, got it. Okay. So, assumption 2 is saying the wireless communication system may be able to withstand. The, obviously, it will be able to withstand. That is the reason he brought that wireless communication system now. So, both assumption 1 and 2 follows. We will, we will opt option 4, both assumption 1 and 2 are implicit. It means they are true. Okay? Can I go to further? Next question. I suppose we should go with the assumptions which are in par with the statements. Yes, exactly. That is what I am trying to tell. Yes, Sakit, are you trying to say or... Uh, okay. Okay, God. You should go with the assumptions which are on par with the statement. That is true. Those assumptions must be proved with respect to the statement given. Next question. Boss advised employee work hard to get promoted. You will work hard if you want to get promoted. Was told to this employee. Assumption 1. Employee always listens to the boss's advice. Assumption 2. Promotion is desirable. Here, desirable in the sense that desirable in the sense we have to work for it. It will not, it is not that easy we will work for it and then we will get promotion. Desirable. We have desires, right? Desire to buy a bench car. So, Promotion is desire. Is it desirable? What do you say will be the answer? 
promotion is desirable here in the, here in the sense we should work for getting promotion he made it assumption 2 is okay can anyone answer this did you get it did you get did you understand what assumption 2 is yeah okay only to sakit yeah judgment on assumption 2 and second one is the remote yes exactly you are correct only second one follows kaushik second one yes now we'll move further happiness cannot be measured assumption 1 there are things that can be measured assumption 2 happiness can be weighed what do you think is the answer here yeah you just try give it a try hilarious both are ex- explicit no both are explicit okay anyone who is going to give the answer um, first one okay gopal is saying assumption one is right yeah first one okay any more answers umesh rathod is saying uh, option uh, assumption one jeshwant is saying no no for what it may be two also option two it may be option two also it may be option two also okay any more answers neither one not to sakit any more answers yeah i tell you now what is it none of this who is this jeshwant is saying none of the above okay now one more answer kaushik is saying none of this okay let us see happiness cannot be measured there are things that can be measured are they anyway speaking about other things why do we need to bother about other things here they are saying happiness cannot be measured it is only talking about happiness that cannot be measured they are not talking about other things so we we'll, this is explicit we we'll delete that assumption 1 assumption 2 is saying happiness can be weighed here it is exactly opposite of the statement it is exactly opposite whenever there is an opposite statement or opposite assumption that is also explicit so what is the answer neither one neither one is following not two is followed so neither one nor two is implicit is the correct answer okay next we are going to next question therapy sessions are important for anxiety patients assumption 1 anxiety patients do not need medicines assumption 2 anxiety patients look forward to getting cured yeah now from this question you are going to answer both one and two are implicit no okay hima bindu is saying both are implicit okay let us skip that off answer aside one more and i want more answers i want every one of you to participate please give it even if it is right or wrong give it yeah Option two is right. Last option. Option two is right. Gopal is saying only two is right. Tejas is saying only two is right. Two man two. Prana is saying two is right. Jashwan both are right ma. Kaushik two ma. Okay. Let us see. Let us deal with the question now. It is either both. or uh, only two is the answer let's see who wins anxiety pa- here in the question what is the therapy sessions are important for anxiety patients 
Assumption one is saying anxiety patients do not need medicines. Is there anywhere, anywhere mentioned about medicines? I want answer from who told both as the answer. Anywhere is it mentioned about medicines or anywhere is it mentioned that therapy sessions are only enough for anxiety patients? Only therapy sessions are important. If the, if the statement is only therapy sessions are required for anxiety patients, then I go with the assumption one because it is saying anxiety patients do not need medicines. There is nothing told. Therapy sessions are important. They only told about they are important. They never mentioned about medicines or they never told only therapy sessions are important. Okay, did you understand who told both as answer? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now going to assumption 2. Anxiety patients look forward to getting cured. That is the correct answer. Why is this the correct answer? Only they look forward to getting cured. Otherwise, why will they go to therapy sessions or whatever uh, cure is there? If they are not get, going to uh, therapy sessions, they will obviously eliminate those. If anxiety patients are against those therapy sessions or whatever it is, they will not, uh, they'll not, they'll not have these therapy sessions in the first place. Okay. So the answer is, assumption 2 is implicit. Okay, any more questions, doubts? Or someone is against my answer? You want to argue with me, we'll have a good uh, discussion. You can oppose me sometimes, please. We'll have a good discussion. We are future lawyers, we have some discussions, debates. Can I move further? Any doubts? Okay, we'll move further. Can someone read it out for me? Yes, anyone wants to read it out? Participate. In today's crisis, yes. only the ideals of limited family and hard labor in the field of education can lead to the towards prosperity. Assumption one. Hima Bindu, can you be a little bit loud? In today's economic crisis, crisis only the ideals of limited family and hard labor in the field of education can lead India towards prosperity. Assumption one. Ideals of limited family and hard labor in the field of education are correlated with India's prosperity. Assumption 2. A large family faces difficulty in bearing the expenses on education. Okay. Now come on, uh, we'll start the race. Give me your answers. Last year, are you giving the answer for this question? Both are implicit. Give me the answers everyone. I want everyone of you to participate please. Yes ma'am, both are implicit. Both are implicit. Okay. More answers in this case. Lassie, is, the, is, it, is your answer for this question? Yes ma'am. Okay. Yes, I want everyone of you to participate. In today's economic crisis, only the ideals of limited family and hard labor in the field of education can lead India towards prosperity. Option 1. Ideas of the limited family and hard labor in the field of education are correlated with India's prosperity. Option 2. A large family faces difficulty in, face, in bearing the expenses on education. You give me the answers now. Mom, I think assumption I, 1. Yeah, Gokul. Assumption 1 now. Okay, Gopal is saying assumption 1, Tejasa and Sai Saket is also saying 1, Kaushik is saying 1, Hima Bindu is saying both. Yes, more answers. Jashwan, did you answer? Yes, more answers, please. Participate.
Yeah. So, we'll see. What is the correct answer? Who won the race? Uh, the question is saying, in today's economic crisis, only the ideals of limited family, that is there, and hard labor in the field of education, that is a different thing, can lead India's prosperity. The author in the statement is saying, two can lead India's prosperity. One is ideals of limited family and hard labor in the field of education. These are two different things author is referring about. Can lead to India's India today towards prosperity. These two can lead India towards prosperity. What is the assumption one is talking about? Ideals of limited family and hard labor in the field of education are correlated with India's prosperity. This is exactly what author is saying. These two are related with the India's prosperity. What is assumption two? A large family faces difficulty in bearing the expenses on education. Anywhere in here, here he is talking about two different things. Don't merge them. A large family faces difficulty in bearing the expenses on education. How is large family related to this bearing of expenses on education? These are two different things. So, we are talking about economic crisis right now. Yes. So, obviously, the expenses of uh, the expenses of bearing the child in a large family comes under what we are discussing in this week. No, here, this is our own knowledge which you are putting in your window. A large family faces difficulty in bearing. That is true. But here, you are putting your own knowledge. Nothing. Nowhere in the, in the statement, they, they never mentioned about large family facing difficulty for education. See, in today's economic crisis, only the ideals of limited family and hard labor in the field of education can lead India's, India towards prosperity. These are two different things in the world. Large family faces difficulty, that's true, but you are putting your own knowledge. Let us stick to what author told. Did you get it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, do you, are you accepting or just saying yes, you can I just have, give it to me? No, I mean like it's a little new, like everything seems correct, so it will take a little time for me to understand it properly, but I understood what you just told right now. Okay, the, it is fine, you can just argue with me why you are feeling that it is not correct. You can just keep your points ahead, so that we discuss. Why is this correct? Why is this wrong? Why are you thinking that is correct? We'll discuss no issues. Put your point ahead, no problem. Yes, Lima Bindu? Okay. Can we move further or we, you want to discuss? Mm -hmm. I mean, like in college also, we did that like this or uh, they keep on saying and you keep on listening and uh, you got, can you express your views, ma'am, in college? What? A uh, pardon, Prino? And I mean, I mean, in college also, will you interact like this only with faculty or will they keep on saying and uh, you listen no. without no, interact. Interactive sessions, yes. We will have only interactive sessions, no issues. They will not just uh, save. Okay? Okay, ma'am. Himabindu, can we move further or yes. can we deal with it? Discuss. I understood what you feel. Okay. Fine. Now, what is the correct answer? It is only assumption one is following because nowhere we are not merging both of them. Economic crisis is there. Only the ideals of limited family, that is one different thing, and the hard labor is that is one different thing. So, only assumption one follows. Fine. We will go to the next question. Yeah. Statement is saying, never before such a lucid book was available on this topic. What is a lucid book? Lucid book is something which you can refer 
very easily that is very good to read which is easy to read okay never before such a lucid book was available on this topic exemption 1 is saying some other books were available on this topic exemption 2 is saying you can write lucid books on every very few topics what is your answer come on last year is saying only one is implicit only exemption 1 is implicit more answers please Target is saying one. Hemoglobin is saying one. And what do you say? Lucid in Telugu. Lucid book. Lucid and the Chaluvada are not easy to answer. Okay. Okay. And one. Kaushik is saying one. Yes, Bobul. One. 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 Any more answers? Tejasa is saying answer one. Any more answers? Okay, let us deal with it. So, what is assumption one saying? Some other books were available on this topic. Some other. See, he here the author is clearly comparing. Never before such a lucid book was available on this topic. Earlier there were books. Earlier there were books, but but not as lucid as this book. Okay, so some other books were available. So assumption one is correct. Let us see why assumption two is not correct. You can write lucid books on every very few on very few topics. Why do we need to care about other lucid books? Here the author is trying to say only about the lucid book of that particular topic. We don't know whether we will write lucid books on other topics or not. We are not going to use our general knowledge here also. We will just stick to the statement. Is it is the author talking about other other lucid books? No, he is not talking. So we will we'll not take this assumption. We will take only first assumption. That is the correct one. Got it? Any more doubts? Or we will proceed? Okay. This statement is saying every person seeking tickets will be given only five tickets for the match. Assumption one is saying the organizers do not want to sell the tickets. Assumption two is saying no one wants more than five tickets. Yes, I am waiting for the answer. Neither one nor two. Neither one nor two. Okay. Neither one nor two. Saket is saying neither one nor two. Kima Bindu is saying both are explicit, which means neither one nor two. Last year is saying D. Umesh is saying uh, none. Last year or D in the sense you mean to say both or neither one nor two. From assumption one. Gopal is saying assumption one. Umesh is saying none, which means neither one nor two. Okay, last year is saying neither one nor two. Yeah, let us see. Any more answers, or shall we proceed? Kaushik is saying uh, only assumption two follows. Okay. Move on, Sake. Yeah. Now coming to the question: Every person seeking tickets will be given only five tickets for match. You go to a match, you will be given only five tickets. Not more than five tickets. Okay, you will be given only five tickets. Assumption one: the organizers do not want to sell tickets. Is it? Google, I think you told assumption one follows, right? Yeah. Yeah. Why do you think uh, assumption no, one? Because follows? the organization wanted to give only five tickets per person. No, no this so assumption like one is saying the organizers do not want to sell tickets at all. I will go with assumption two. You will go with assumption two. Fine. Yeah, I got some chats. It is completely impertinent. Impertinent. Jeshwant is saying both are explicit. Okay. Let us. So as of now, we are eliminating option one. Okay. 
we are eliminating the option 1 because that is exclusive. Let us see option 2, assumption 2. No one wants to buy more than 5 tickets. See here, we are just talking about, we are just talking about the seller of the ticket. Every person seeing the ticket will be only given 5 tickets of, for the match. Here we are talking only about the seller of the tickets. We don't know either the people who are attending the match wants to take more than 5 or 10, whatever it is. We don't know about the ones who, the audience. We only know about, the author is only talking about the seller of the tickets. Okay. So, assumption 2 is also false. It is also exclusive. Because no one wants more than 5 tickets. Nowhere, nowhere it is mentioned they want how many tickets the audience or whatever the people want. Okay, Google, are you accepting this or are you against it? Start I am accepting this. One. You are accepting uh, that assumption 2 is wrong, right? Google? And then both the assumptions will be wrong. Yes, then we have an option, right? Neither one nor two, both are wrong. Yeah. Okay. Sakit is saying limit has been set. We are not certain whether the buyer need more than five. Yes, he is saying correct. Nowhere it is mentioned how many tickets buyer want. And any doubts? Someone also told that assumption two follows. Is it Kaushik? If I am not wrong. Yes, Kaushik. Yeah, Kaushik, are you accepting that neither one not to follow us or do you have any argument? No, no, I accept it. Okay, we will move further. The question statement says, if it does not rain throughout this month, most of the farmers would be in trouble this year. If, if it is not raining, if it is not raining throughout this month, we have monsoon showers now. If it is not raining, uh, let us not take the real life things here. If it, is, if it does not rain throughout this month, most of the farmers would be in trouble. The author is saying this statement. Assumption 1 is saying, timely rain is essential for farming. Assumption 2 is saying, most farmers are generally dependent on rains. What is the answer? What oh, man? Sorry, two is the answer, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Both, ma'am. Pranav is saying both. Two, ma'am. Gopal is saying two. Jeshwant is saying assumption two. Saket is saying two. Umesh is saying both. Teja is saying two. Any more answers? Himabindu, where are you? Assumption 2 much. Himabindu says assumption 2. More answers, where is Lasya? Yeah, Lasya is saying both. Kaushik, Teshwan. Uh, okay, Kaushik is saying two, both. So let us deal with the question now. Timely rain is essential. Here, timely rain is essential for farming. Assumption 1 is saying. Here, assumption 2 is saying. Sorry. Uh, yes. Assumption 2 is saying most farmers are generally dependent on rain. I accept this assumption because it is directly given. They will be in trouble. Most farmers would be in trouble. So from this we can assume that most farmers are generally dependent on grains. Saket is saying maybe some farmers have irrigation facilities. But Saket, here it is clearly mentioned in the statement that most farmers would be in trouble this year if there is no rain. By this, what can we understand, Sakit? Sakit? 
it is clearly given in the statement that most of the farmers would be in trouble if there are no rains throughout this month ఇరిగేషన్ no sakis listen what is what is he is he is according to his statement what is the it is not raining now it is raining the next next month it is not raining this month it is raining next month which means this is not a timely raining okay it is raining next month are you fine with it then the farmers will be in trouble or not according to his statement yes sir if it is not raining this month it is raining the coming month obviously the farmers are going to be in trouble farmers require only this month to get they want rain only in this month they don't want rain we are not bothered about they want rain in next month or not this month they want rain which is a timely rain okay to this particular point okay so accordingly assumption 1 also follows yeah do you have any doubts or are all of you are accepting this we should use logic but not knowledge right ma'am yes exactly it is it is clear here that this month they want rain this month okay if they say anywhere it should it should rain then it is not timely rain it have to rain that's it any more doubts ma'am i think state assumption one should be like this timely rain is essential for farming this month no analyzing like no sake listen what is a timely rain tell me what is a timely rain which falls when uh, necessary man yeah which falls when necessary timely yes. rain in the sense at a particular month they want rain okay is that did you get it at a particular timely rain according to me yes yes again okay ma'am okay, okay. timely rain according to me is getting rain on a particular month it it obviously can't rain in, through throughout the year right it have to rain at a particular month farmers in this question think some logically in this question he is saying if it does not rain throughout this month this month farmers most farmers would be in trouble if it is raining somewhere in the other month where it is not necessary obviously it is not raining in this month they will be in trouble they want rain in that this month only did you get it sakit yes ma'am can we move further yes ma'am okay no you are accepting just for the sake of saying or uh, are you satisfied timely timely you know, i understand ma'am what timely really means Okay, um, now you understood what timely rain means. Yes. Okay, fine. We will move further then. Yeah. This is Mumbai. Yeah. The residents of the... Is it Mumbai? Yeah. The residents of Mumbai wrote a letter to the BMC requesting to the... Requesting... to restore normally in supply of drinking water immediately as the supply at present is just not adequate i'll read it for you again the residents of mumbai wrote a letter to bmc requesting to restore normally in the supply of drinking water they are asking the drinking water 
they they used to get drinking water they want the drinking water back now it is not normal okay immediately as the supply at present is not is just not adequate they are not getting enough of drinking water now they want to get the situation to normal as it was earlier okay because here why i gave you this question is there are some cases where you will get more than two assumptions okay this is the case where you will get more than one assumption more than two assumptions here they have given you not just two they have given you three assumptions you have to the options will be also different here the options are only one and two are implicit two and three are implicit only two only three you have to read the options every time you see the question because sometimes c will be both uh, one and two or sometimes d will be both one and two or neither one nor two can be c or d every time you have to read the question carefully less supply and they want the water supply normally yes exactly ganesh they want the normal supply let us read the assumptions now Assumption one is saying yes. Who is talking, Prana? Ah, yes, my option B. I guess. Option B is saying the answer. Okay. Let us see what the assumptions are. The PMC may not take any action on the letter. First one. Second one. The municipality has enough water to meet the demand. Municipality has enough water to de to meet the demand. Third one. The water supply to the area was adequate in the past. Now give me your answers. Uh, uh, most of you are telling D as the answer. Yes, no option B. Pranav, give me D as the answer. I am happy. Yeah, one option B. Ma'am, it's never mentioned the whether municipality has any adequate water to. Meet the demand or not? It's uh, not going. But Sagar, if they don't have water, they don't have enough water. How will they send it? They are demanding it because it might be possible for them, right? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, but it's also not like people know like if the municipality has enough water to supply. Also, it is given that previously they used to get an adequate amount. I mean. According to the statement, they used to get an adequate amount of water in the past, yes. but they have reduced the supply. So it could be that the municipality doesn't have enough water to meet the demand. So maybe that is the reason they have cut down the supply of water for the people in that particular locality. Yes, that is a good point. But earlier they have, see earlier also they have to give the water for entire city. Now also they are giving water for entire city. But there was some situation where the drinking water got cut. It, so they they have that enough enough of the water. But the thing is, they are not supplying as normally. Earlier they did supply, right? Him have been no. Mom, there could have been any kind of crisis or something in between, right? Mom, there could be any possibility of not having adequate amount of water. The yeah, supply and adequate yes. amount of water earlier doesn't mean they still have water to meet demand in the present right now. See, if there is some crisis kind of thing, obviously they will not demand it, right? There is crisis kind of thing, they will also use it less. They are demanding it because they earlier they are demanding the earlier amount of water. Your point is correct, Himabindu, but here read this. Clearly, the residents of Mumbai wrote a letter to BMC requesting to restore the normally in the supply of drinking water immediately, as the supply at present is just not adequate. Just not adequate. It is not proper. Means the crisis can be solved so that they are requesting. Are you getting? They are demanding. They are demanding for it. If they, if they are. If they don't have enough water, if the municipality is not having enough water, what will they do? Why will they demand? See, if, if we know there is a how are the people uh, supposed to know if the municipality has enough amount of water or not? Now, how will the people know if the municipality has enough amount of water? 
they are demanding see for example himabindu